The cost of food at home increasing three tenths of a percent in July, but it's not the case across the board. Here with where some of the areas where pressure is beginning to ease, we want to bring Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Capama. And Brooke, we're going to walk through the meals of the day. So let's start with breakfast. If you're heading to the store, you're trying to plan your breakfast, mm -hmm. where could you maybe save a little bit compared to what you would have been paying last month? Yeah, well, believe it or not, we're going to start breakfast with some eggs here. I mean, we did see some relief there. Egg prices down 2.2% month over month and even more uh, year over year, down nearly 14% there. Now, this compares back to January when we saw prices jump 70% year over year, and so perhaps you should get some eggs to serve your morning. Now, bacon uh, dropped month over month, down nearly seven tenths of a percent, but year over year, down 10.7%, nearly 11% there. And instant coffee, also looking a good way to brew up your morning routine, I guess. Uh, roasted coffee costing Americans more these days. Cereal also being impacted by consumer uh, companies really driving prices higher. And so, believe it or not, we're actually going to say eggs is the better bet as we move into this month over cereal, which is seeing a, a higher jump month over month. And Brooke, what about lunch and dinner? Yeah, well, it's lunchtime in California. Dinner time almost here on the East Coast, so we'll dive into that a bit. A lettuce actually remains flat over a flat month over month. We were seeing a bit of a jump earlier this year due to California wet weather. Now we're seeing that flat month over month. Tomatoes slightly higher here, but potatoes costing more, so we'll go with tomatoes for this meal. Fresh fish and seafood actually down 1.1% month over month. One economist telling me that wholesalers and retailers are really trying to liquidate um, significant a higher cost inventory there that's being held in cold storage right now. So that really being the play here for lunch. But ultimately, apples and oranges, try to avoid that maybe as an afternoon snack because apples are costing 2.4% more month over month, largely because of the labor input and energy costs that we're seeing. Oranges, they were a short crop supply in California due to that wet weather. Now, dinner over here, we're getting some good relief in the poultry market. The poultry industry, fresh whole chicken down 2.1% month over month. That's strongly related to uh, U.S. companies having to uh, market right to price right compared to what they're uh, seeing overseas when it comes to competition there. In addition to that, fresh biscuits also getting some relief and soup also down 1.2%. But the big story here when it comes to grocery inflation is that uncooked ground beef, beef and veal category is ultimately being driven higher this past month. So try to avoid beef and veal this month if you, if you can. Um, ultimately, what we're seeing there is due to cattle being sold off because of the drought. They had to uh, be sold for record prices. Now, as these producers look to rebuild their fleet of cows or really their inventory of cattle, uh, they have have to feed them more. It's ultimately costing them more. And so we're seeing high, higher prices there. So chicken, soup, and biscuits, I guess, for lunch tonight, uh, dinner tonight. <laughs> Not a bad meal. I was going to say, your lunch meal was extremely healthy. You came back <laughs> a little bit with dinner. And I also saw that their sweets are a little bit more expensive. Sweets a little bit more night. expensive. Ice cream, more expensive as well. So if you have a sweet tooth like me, bad I news I do. There. All right, Brooke <laughs> Palmer, that was fun. Great stuff. Thanks.